Good morning. So um, a lot has happened this week. I mean, the I, I talk about this every week, but this past week, things were just really booming in the city. So on Saturday, I went up to, I got tickets finally, because they're really hard to come by, to go up to the summit. It's called Summit One Vanderbilt. Uh, like on the like 91st through 93rd floor of that new building. And it's so amazing. I mean, everyone has to do it, whether you're a tourist or whether you live here, you have to do it at least once. And the thing that really sets this apart from other observation decks like the edge and so forth is that there is as much going on inside as there is outside. Um, so it's sort of like an art immersive experience. It was done by uh, somebody called Kenzo Digital. Uh, and then Snow Hedder was the architect for that part of the building. It's just amazing. And then there was, so it was like, um, as I said, it was like nine, I think it's the nine o'clock, 9.30 um, tickets. And there are all these like, women in all these influencers and they're wearing like they've got suitcases filled with like ball gowns and they're posing and tick tocking and whatever oh my god it was just amazing so I spoke to some people who were there from San Francisco then there was a woman who was like all decked out with like a tiara and everything she was celebrating her 60th birthday she was in from uh, Dallas it was just so great and it's so well run so anyway, I'm writing about that. That's number four. And I've got quite a few little video snippets from there you might want to see. Also, um, the other thing that happened this week is I had sort of a, my trend spotting was very much associated with sort of the influencer crowd. So there was this um, guy, Brian Whiteley. Whitley, I'm not quite sure how it's pronounced. Anyway, I was reading about it. I was at home and I was reading about it on Friday in, um, that was written up in Artnet, and that he's being sued, this artist is in like a pop-up gallery, but he's being sued by Justin Bieber because apparently this show is kind of like, like influenced by Bieber. So he told me, this artist told me that he had spent like the last few months dressed in a Speedo, painting to Justin Bieber's music and whatever. So it's a great show. It's like a really, he's like a, a hoaxster, you know? It's like really, really fun. It was like great. And it was just like across the street from me. Um, then a little update on my man, Joe uh, Kosher Dills. So, I mean, literally... Fat Joe discovered him in the rain, um, like about two weeks ago. This guy, Kosher Dills, has the uh, hustle to fly out to Denver, um, where Fat Joe is performing. Fat Joe brings him up on the stage, and then I don't know how this happened, but then the next thing I see is that Kosher Dills is running in the LA Marathon. And then, now whether this is true or not, I don't know, but I'm sure there's a lot of truth to this. So he's, um, he says, with all these people want him now to do gigs for them, and he said that his rate has gone from $100, like for a gig two weeks ago, it went to, a th and this is all because of Fat Joe, $1,000, and now at like, this past weekend, it was like $10,000. So I don't know what's gonna happen with this guy, but I just love this story. And then another thing that's in the trend spotting, which is number five on the blog, is that Brad just got featured in this great artsy article on the 11 most influential Native American artists. And he's number two on the list. Um, and it's a great, great article. So, um, Big, big kudos to my wonderful partner, Brad. Um, and that's it, a lot of other stuff. Oh, and I'm also, I'm also, you know, those of you who know me well know that I love A Perfect Manhattan. Well, now I'm trying to bring back, um, instead of all these fancy bourbons, I'm trying to bring back wild turkey, uh, which Ma um, was it Matthew McConaughey is the creative director for it when he's not running for governor of Texas. Anyway, so that's it. Lots and lots and lots of stuff. Um, 
And um, that's it. I will see you guys next Friday. Ciao, ciao, babies.